That's all coming up on 16 by 9. Here's Mary Garofalo. Good evening and welcome to 16 by 9, The Bigger Picture. Our investigation exposing the possible health risks of those curly fluorescent light bulbs touched a nerve. We were overwhelmed with viewer calls and emails telling us these bulbs were making you sick. We demanded answers from Health Canada and tonight a 16 by 9 exclusive. Finally, their test results. And if you have these light bulbs anywhere in your home, you'll want to hear this story. Here's our Alison Bushnick. It's hard to imagine that a light bulb can make you sick. But then you meet the people who say it has. Everything in my body was out of whack. Nauseous and some dizzy spells. Achy joints, pain. Just a soreness. Dizziness. My vision was starting to get blurry. Anxiety. Dull pain behind my eyes. There was something about those bulbs that triggered my headache. Different symptoms, but they all say it was these. Energy-saving, compact fluorescent light bulbs causing them problems. Really red, itchy, weeping pustules. It was really not very pleasant to look at. And this hand... Um, the base of the thumb was like an opened wound. And when they removed them? It stopped. It all stopped. And I immediately started getting better. It took a few days before the dizziness and everything subsided, but it all started to heal. It was so dramatic and it was so quick. The other symptoms were gone in a matter of days. So you can imagine how confused they were, told to use the bulbs to help save the planet, but then feeling unwell. So we investigated... For close to two years, we've been speaking to experts around the world and often getting very few answers here at home from Health Canada. They should have done the testing prior to releasing the product, and now they're doing a catch-up. As we continue to demand answers, Health Canada finally decided to test the bulbs and now has results and recommendations. But you won't find it on Health Canada's website. You have to find it here on Natural Resources Canada's website. The two departments teamed up. So what did they investigate? Two things, ultraviolet radiation, UV, and electromagnetic emissions. And what did they find? With UV, Health Canada says if you were close only three centimeters away to an exposed coil CFL, you would reach daily UV exposure in 50 minutes. And in 3.3 hours, skin reddening can occur. So we spoke with dermatologist Jensen Young from Women's College Hospital in Toronto to find out in terms of the sun and UV, What does skin reddening and maximum daily UV exposure mean? Daily UV exposure means that after a certain point, you'll get a sunburn from it. Skin reddening is is basically the same as getting some redness from sun exposure. Health Canada concluded the CFLs are safe, but they also issued a warning. To avoid any long-term health effects in the general population, you need to be at least 30 centimeters away from a bulb. Confusing? We thought so, so we asked Health Canada for an on-camera interview. They refused. In fact, over the two years we've been requesting interviews, they've only done one. As for the manufacturers, all the companies contacted declined our request for an interview. Their industry association released this statement. We are pleased but not surprised that the report affirmed our industry's products are safe and do not pose a health hazard. So Health Canada says, keep your distance. 30 centimeters or more. That's the length of an average ruler. But that new information is not here on their website's Safety of CFLs page. It doesn't say anywhere to keep 30 centimeters away. Dr. Cheryl Rosen is the head of dermatology at Toronto Western Hospital. She wonders about long-term exposure. It depends on the strength of the UV. If it's very minimal and it takes five hours for any sort of you know effect to occur then that's a very low dose now granted it's all it will all add up especially if you're sitting by that bulb every single day 365 days a year let's say but i would have to say from a scientific point of view i haven't studied the effects of bulbs on the skin on a chronic basis i think that that's that's what we have to learn about here So we shared the results with people who claim they've had problems. People like Jane Penteluk, who spent hours doing crafts quite close to her lamp. I wish it had been on from the beginning. The top of my head, my face, much of the time was much closer than 30 centimeters. And Charlene Creelman thinks 30 centimeters isn't enough. 
I'm really disappointed. Really disappointed. All this came about because the Canadian government is phasing out energy inefficient bulbs like incandescents. By 2012, they're banned. So sales of CFLs have skyrocketed. It should be less than 50, ideally. Professor Magda Havis is a leading expert and has been testing the CFL bulbs for years. You shouldn't have any light bulb that uh, you have to stay a certain distance away from it because otherwise it's not healthy. And there are some people, extreme examples like Brenda Ryder who has lupus. Brenda says it only took 20 minutes being next to the light bulb for her face to look like this. Health Canada did tell us that people who have lupus, other autoimmune disorders or skin sensitivities may have issues with the bulbs. No one really advised me or even, uh, I think, particularly believed me. There are no recommendations on the packaging for the bulbs about distance or for people with skin sensitivities. UK health officials were among the first to test the CFL bulbs for UV levels in 2008. It wasn't related to the brand or where we bought them. It was a random, uh, a random sample of them. About one in five were, were emitting unusual levels of UV lights. When we interviewed them in London, they recommended sitting more than 30 centimetres away and also limiting the time. People should uh, be aware of this and avoid being in close contact with them uh, for, for more than an hour. And they think there should be more research done. If we're going to have these devices, there should be proper standards for them. The British scientists also suggest, in terms of UV, using these bulbs with the curly part inside a cover. You can buy these bulbs in Canada as well. Health Canada's tests of these covered double envelope bulbs show they also emit UV, but at lower levels than the open curly bulb, and at a very similar level to an incandescent bulb. And there's more. Health Canada also tested for electromagnetic emissions, basically what the bulbs give off. And so did Swiss health officials. Here you have the induced fields in the but the Swiss claim their technique is way more accurate and Canada's test is old school. We'll never give you the final answer about the exposure. Still to come on 16 by 9. You have stimulation of nerves, muscles, which can be, in extreme cases, can be painful. That's all coming up.